Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Battlefield Hardline, continuing on with the collectibles guide. This is episode 6 out of business, which has a total of 12 collectibles, including evidence and warrants. When you gain control of your character, you'll need to get into this car dealership, where you can find two collectibles. The first one, Case E, Evidence 2, you can find in the middle of the dealership on the desk next to the computer. Uh, right there that is for the case file power play and that's the first one you're going to unlock now the one right next to it is evidence number one in the main office with the computer you can find another piece of evidence on the desk also a piece of paper a little bit later on you'll enter into this kind of factory here and you'll scan out in front of you and you'll see a whole bunch of dudes directly in front of you you should see uh, Ji Hun Oh and then in the back you'll see James Munn um, you can't actually scan James Munn until you get closer to him, uh, but I'm doing this after reloading the checkpoint, which is why uh, you see him on my screen. But if you sneak around to the left here after uh, scanning uh, Ji Hun Oh, uh, he's going to usually walk over to the left hand side here, and he'll barely get out of view of all the other people, but he actually does completely get out of view if you get lucky. You can also throw a bullet in order to get his attention to draw him out a little bit more on his own. And obviously you'll want to arrest him as soon as you can. You can use a taser if you so desire. Moving on from him, we're going to go straight for James Munn Warrant. Uh, I'm going to take out this guy in the trailer just to play it safe. And uh, I am going to unlock an achievement on my screen, but that's not related to uh, anything that you'd be doing in this video, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to arrest this guy who chills out back all by himself. He will walk around, but if you're quick enough or just wait long enough, he'll come back here. As soon as you arrest him, make sure you pick up the collectible on his body, evidence number three. So look at his body and then search it the first time you will unlock your piece of evidence. And then you'll want to move from his body into the middle of the car shop. Now I have taken out all the enemies, but that's not really that necessary. Um, if you just walk into the body shop, you'll find this huge case. And inside, uh, you'll want to obviously analyze that. Now the next one is the last warrant. It's for Edgar Kwok. You'll walk into this factory, and uh, if you stand on the balcony, there's uh, five or six different actual entrances into this factory. I took the one that will be directly in front of you up to the second floor. Uh, he's going to be in the middle of the car shop, so you're going to want to obviously take him down whatever way you deem fit. You can use your taser if you so desire. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to uh, arrest two guys that are near him, and then actually arrest him. And then take out the rest of the guys uh, going loud and shooting them. You'll see that on screen in a second here. So now that I've taken out this guy as well, I'm just going to... I threw a bullet just to make sure they're not looking in my general direction. And uh, I'm going to sneak up to the warrant guy and arrest him. That's going to be my final warrant. So as I mentioned, I'm going to go loud now and take out the rem remainder of the enemies. So that's what you'll see here. And I'm going to show you the two pieces of evidence inside of the car shop. Just off in the middle on the desk, you should see uh, that piece of evidence. This is not far from the person you arrested. And then in the corner, in the far corner from where I entered, you will find a radio. Next to that radio, I believe you can find a cassette. And you'll want to obviously go up to it and scan it in order to reveal this piece of evidence. That's case E, evidence 5. There's three more pieces of evidence all in this last area. I've taken out all the enemies, put them to sleep, did whatever I had to do. Um, if you enter in from this back entrance here, next to the dumpsters, you'll see a door. If you walk in, there's a computer in front of you, and that's going to be uh, a photo, and that's evidence number eight. So uh, you'll want to pick that up for case E. The next piece of evidence is number seven for case E. If you go to the middle of the car shop, you'll see a white car um, on the ground there. And if you actually scan the front, it's very hard to see. Um, you'll have to kind of just use your scanner and get lucky, but uh, it's in the front bumper of the car. You'll see an explosive that you'll have to scan. Now for case B, evidence number four, again, case B is all over the map. It has a few collectibles from every uh, mission. Uh, you'll find this uh, supply of hot shot in the back of the shop that you'll want to scan. And uh, that's it for uh, episode number six. If you'd like, you can click on the screen now for episode number seven, Glass Houses. Hopefully I see you there. Make sure you like the video to help me out. You can also show your friends and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.